Yo people, hope you're all good and having a good day. So welcome to another video of A New Day, A New Beat. In this video, it's going to be a little bit different. As you can tell, I'm not speaking to the camera, I'm speaking to a microphone. It's a shit microphone as well, I know, but I'm going to invest and get a new one. This one just buzzes for some reason, so bear with it for this video. But I'm going to try for this episode to narrate over me making a beat because it's just so much more natural for me to sit there and actually just get in the zone and make a beat and then I can sort of cut, edit it all up and narrate over what I'm doing so yeah if you enjoy this sort of style of video let me know it feels a lot more sort of natural to me so hopefully that will reflect in the quality of the videos um, but yeah fucking enjoy leave a comment let me know what you want to see me do um, whether you want me to sample, even if you want me to make a beat at a particular BPM, just let me know and I'll, I'll, I'll do it. So, um, yeah, don't want to go on for much longer. Enjoy the video. Okay, so right now I'm looking for a nice instrument to use. Uh, I've skipped out a lot of the time of me just actually searching for one, but I end up settling for this innovation key sound. I always do this before making a melody, but I just click on sort of some random notes and just have a listen to the potential of my sound, just to make sure whether it's something I like. Um, but as you can see now, I'm starting to lay some notes down to create a chord sound, uh, and I end up creating a chord that I really like the sound of, and it inspires me for literally the rest of the beat. So here, as you can see, I'm chucking on the metronome, so I want to get a better groove with my beat. So instead of putting the second chord directly on that next bar, I've sort of shifted it forward a beat. Um, and as you can hear, with the metronome, it creates a nice sort of groove. So now, instead of keeping the melody the way it is, I'm actually going to duplicate it and change it slightly so the melody sounds different to the listener. It doesn't always go for every beat, but you want to try and avoid keeping that loopy sound because the listener will just get bored eventually. So try and change it up. So here I'm using a plugin called The Source, it's by Kyle Beats, go check it out, it's a really solid plugin, it has so many different presets you can use for your melodies, yeah, rate it a lot, as you can see I've gone with the lo-fi, and I'm sort of just slowly blending in the effect, just to sort of make the melody not sound as harsh and in your ear. Okay, so at this point, usually you'd add another melody to it, but I just could not get the idea of hearing how the drums are going to sound out of my head. So I go ahead and chuck the hi-hat straight in, um, and already the, you can hear the beats coming along. Yeah, just listen. I left this in just because this is a cool little trick I do. If you go onto the settings knob of your hi-hat sound, there's a sort of time section at the back, and if you mess around with that shift knob, it will slightly pull the hi-hats out of time, but just enough to make them stand apart from the other sounds in your mix. It's, it's a really good tip, give it a try. So again, before I go any further with adding more to the melody, I'm just filling out the drums that I can hear sort of play as I'm listening to the melody in my head. I 
So I go ahead and add the 808 next and this took me a while, I won't lie, to figure out how the pattern would go for it. Um, but in the end it comes out really nicely. I had to fiddle around with sort of finding the right 808 sounds but don't be afraid to go through and try loads of different patterns because you'll be surprised how one 808 sounds completely different to the next even if it's in the same pattern so yeah have a play around with your 808s and just try and sort of get them to bounce nicely with your beat. So you guys actually missed most of the footage of me going through and cutting out all of the 808 sounds that I went through. Um, it was probably about 20 minutes worth of footage, uh, but in the end I end up going with the classic Zaytoven 808, you can't beat it. And then of course a bit of sausage fattener, I mean why not, it makes your beat sound naughty. So I'm now at the stage of adding a second melody to this beat um, and I had the idea of chucking in an arpeggiator. Uh, I'm feeling that this is some sort of an M. Huncho style beat so I know he likes to have them sort of high, dreamy sounding arpeggiators so I thought I've got a great bank on Electric X and I'm going to chuck it in. And I ended up getting a bit sidetracked and going with another, another arpeggiator but taking out some of the sounds. Just, yeah, just have a listen. So literally all I did was take off the arpeggiating effect, mix the sounds in together and it sounds amazing. I then go ahead and add some half time to that new melody I've added and that blends in so nicely. But at this point I'm thinking I still don't have the arpeggiator I wanted in there. So I go back to one of the banks and I find the sound that I previously liked, add that in as well and the melody is sounding crazy at this point. Considering how much right now in the moment I'm loving this and enjoying this beat I'm making, why do I look so angry? I don't get it. I then go in and add a open hat which makes the beat flow so nicely. Before going in and changing the hi-hat pattern up, it's a bit boring keeping it on that two step all the time so I just add in some rolls there. Um, yeah, I'm very happy with the hi-hat pattern, I think it sounds sick. stage of arranging the beat so as you can see I chuck all of my sounds into one pattern um, and my screen is actually cut off looking at it right now but I go to the top and press split by channel and then as you can see all the sounds come out and spread out so it's a lot easier to look at your beat that way and arrange it from there. So as I'm creating the verse here, I like to change up the kick pattern slightly just so there's a bit of a difference when it goes from chorus to verse. Um, only a minor change, but again, it's all these minor changes that sort of make your beats sound so unique.
and of course it would not be a contrasound beat without the contrasound tag on there. Killing it, man. You're so, you're killing it, man. Also add in sort of a crash just to distinguish the chorus from the verse at times. But really that is the end of the beat, so I'm just gonna let you listen to that now. Alright guys, so that has been it for today's episode of A New Day, A New Beat. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, go leave a comment down below. Leave a like on the video because just generally it helps me to motivate myself more with uploading videos. Um, go subscribe if you haven't already. But yeah, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys next episode. Goodbye.